Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About BI. Uh, in this session, I am going to tell you uh, while processing a set of files, whether it may be delimited text file or uh, it can be uh, an XML file. Uh, before processing the file using a data flow, I want to check if uh, uh, the file has expected number of records or not. Okay, I will take XML for example. So, if you look at my file system or container, I have two XML files test1.xml and test2.xml so each of these files will contain set of uh, tags related to books okay what i want to do is i just want to check the property that comes along with the books tag okay so this is the uh, xml tag and my root tag is going to be my books tab inside that i'll have various books all right so by looking at this particular attribute of my books tag I have to decide whether this file is containing data or not all right so if it contains two it will have two books details if it is containing 100 it will have 100 books details if it is having zero it's going to not it's not going to have any book details it will be empty so test1.xml is having two entries and test2.xml is having zero entries so my requirement is uh, if I if I see total number of entries equals to zero, I should not process that file. That is my expectation. Okay, so how do we do that in? <coughs> I'm sorry, data factory. That's what I'm going to tell you. So first and foremost, I need to know what are the files that are present in my um, file system or container. So I'm just choosing an XML uh, data set that I have already created. I'll open that for you. Azure file system is my container name and uh, there is no directory uh, under Azure file system I have my XML files present okay I want to pass the file name or extension to this data set that's why I created a parameter here by name extension and using that in the file name part so uh, since my um, container has a lot many other files as well as folders I don't want to process XLSX or um, any other file basically if it's a text file I have to ignore all of them right so for that what we are going to do we are just going to pass uh, star dot XML uh, to the file name part okay so let us see what it brings and we need to add the items as well I'll just mention child items so since we mentioned child items it will it's going to bring folders as well which we need to filter out I'll tell uh, how that works so parallelly I'll just pull a filter activity and then I'll be just using the get metadata activities output okay and then the condition is item dot type equals file why we need to do this i will reiterate now i will close this and show you what my get metadata activity has brought me okay so we just mentioned get metadata activity to bring xml files alone right but it has brought me the folders as well so the condition that we are giving in metadata doesn't apply to the folders okay but just to the files because we gave it in the uh, file portion the wildcard is given to the file portion so somehow we need to get rid of all these folders right so for that only what i'm doing i'm just saying the filter activity to uh, filter only those items which are of type file so when i execute this it will be just uh, ignoring the folders and it will just give me the uh, files okay and then what next is we need a for each loop activity to process these files so in the for each loop activity we need to make sure uh, it uh, goes through the filtered items so filter activity output dot value y dot value filter activity will be bringing all the results inside a value array i'll show you that as well now so if you look at the output of the filter activity it, it brings all the filtered items which are nothing but two of our xml files inside a um, inside an array called value array okay that is why i'm making the for each loop to loop over the results of the filter activity dot value okay so inside the for each loop what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, use lookup activity to uh, look at the content of the xml file so that i can decide 
what is the value that is given to my attribute okay so uh, i have to use the same data set and uh, i can say item dot name so for each loop will be bringing me item name and item type item type so i can use the item name uh, to decide the file name that is being looked upon okay and and i can ignore this by a first row only check box so after we have looked up the details we need to decide whether to process the file or not right so for that first initially i will just use a set variable activity to just look at the result uh look at the result in the sense what is the value that is coming in the attribute that i showed you earlier okay so for this i will be using this expression what does this expression say it's nothing but it is assigning a variable with the total number of entries value okay so uh output lookup activity is output dot value of zero of books books is my root tag and inside that this attribute okay so let us see for both of our files how this process executes pipeline is done so when you look at the set variable for one of the files it its value is 0 for the other file its value is 2 okay so basically we are trying to capture the value that is uh, there in the root tag attribute so uh, how do we implement an if condition here same way we can get rid of this uh, set variable or if you want to use also we can use and we need to use an if condition and this if condition needs to uh, check if my set variable equals to or greater than 0 we need to use the uh, function greater my variable is of type integer so i am not doing a type casting and all okay so if this if expression evaluates to true that means that um, uh, the file which is being processed right that is having some records to load okay and since we are using a set variable expression here we need to make sure the for each loop is uh, set to run sequentially otherwise it's not going to work properly if you do not make use of set variable we can um, ignore the sequential process and it can run in parallel as well so if the if condition evaluates to true what i need to do i need to have a data flow or copy activity to copy the records okay but for the sake of testing i am ignoring all of that so i'll just say wait okay and in um, false part of the if condition i am not giving anything so if you look here there is no uh, activity present and false and in true part i just have a wait so my uh, expectation is this if condition should evaluate to true one time or once and it should make the pipeline wait for one second for that one file okay so i'll run again pipeline is running if condition has evaluated to true for one of the files which is having the count greater than 0 so it has made the pipeline wait and for the other condition the if condition has evaluated to false and it's not running or uh, executing the wait activity so this is what i had for uh, uh, today's discussion uh, probably it helps um, uh, you if you have similar scenario to be implemented let me know if you have any questions or comments thanks a lot for watching the video keep supporting